kusubiri hadi Jumamosi kujua hatma ya marufuku ya kutotoka nje. Amri hiyo ya kutopatikana nje kati ya saa moja jioni na saa kumi na moja asubuhi inakamilika Jumamosi Mei tarehe 16. Wakati huo huo wa Kenya wengine tatu wamepatikana na virusi vya corona na kufikisha idadi kwa jumla ya watu 781. Siku ambayo Kenya inasema imepima idadi kubwa zaidi ya sampuli za corona, wa Kenya walisubiri kujua iwapo kafyu itafikia kikomo au la. Sasa itabidi wangoje. The timelines are approaching and uh, this is now a matter of discussion. There will be a substantive statement provided tomorrow. Kafiu ya awali likamilika Aprili 25 lakini ikasongezwa kwa siku zingine 21. Hata hivyo idadi ya maambukizi imeendelea kupanda na kasi sawa na siku zilizotangulia Juma hili. Serikali inasema imepima sampuli 2100 saa 24 zilizopita. Out of these cases we have 23 that have tested positive. This brings to 781 the total number of cases that have turned positive. Kaunti ya Nairobi imesalia juu ya jedwali na visa 11, Mombasa visa vitano, Kajiado visa vitatu, Kiambu viwili na Wajia visa viwili. In Nairobi County, the 11 cases are from Embakasi 6, Kamkunji 2. Langata 2 and Starehe 1. In Mombasa all the cases are from Mvita, five cases. In Kiambu the cases are from Thika and the two cases in Wajer are from Wajer East sub county. In Kajado the two cases are truck drivers from Namanga border point and one from Bisil in Kajiado Central. Hata hivyo watu watatu wamefariki kutokana na corona Kenya na kufikisha jumla ya vifo 45. Huku jiji likisongamana na wanafunzi kukua manyumbani, taarifa ya Jumamosi itatoa mwongozo kuhusu mambo yatakuwa vipi Kenya siku zinavyosonga. Mark na Maswa KTN News. Na kwa wote waliofikwa na msiba tunawapa pole.